hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel okay so today i'm going to be dropping another episode of the hint and it's going to be more like a program and a book review for you know one of our authors in um what should i say in the world <laughs> or the ladies one of the ladies authors we have around us her name is uh, miss deborah and um i just felt i should give an intro because it's more like a video done during a um, radio program and um, I think you should you get one or two things from it. So just sit back and enjoy the uh, review and everything. So catch you guys later. Just stay tuned. Hello, listeners all around the world. You're welcome again to Dumbos Call Radio. And it's time for your program, Ladies Hangout with Benedicta Adequiton. Like I say always, you can call me. Dicta, of course I will be there for you and on today's program I am NOT alone in the studio I know I love to be you know I love to have company I'm always excited when I'm not alone in the studio and today I'm not just alone with a lady I'm here with a very pretty lady I am here with a um, very brilliant lady humble nice what are the qualities just give it to me and i'm gonna give it to you sincerely and you're definitely going to enjoy yourself so once again i welcome you to today's edition of ladies hangout and in case you don't want to miss it's better you stay tuned and don't go anywhere and also today we will be talking majorly about um should i should i launch should i launch the topic yeah. i should launch it <laughs> Wait, can, let's start with the introduction first please right. introduce yourself to the listeners yeah Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, ladies. Good afternoon. <laughs> Zion. Yes. Yeah, so. This is Fire on the Debra. Okay. I'm Fire on the Debra. Yeah. An author, inspirational writer. Okay, you're already launching yes. the topic already. She's an author, an inspirational writer, and yes. in fact, she 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 write you write on Facebook yes. and you yes, I'm people, a moderator. Uh, she's a moderator. She yes. people comment you. Yes. In fact, should I call you a counselor? yeah because you're already doing the counseling job like that okay now so before we go into what we have for you today let us go and this musical break and we will be right back do not touch the dial don't go anywhere just do me a favor go call everyone around you and tell them to come listen to the program don bosco radio we will be right back Welcome back uh, from that musical break and for those of you just tuning in this is the still Dumbbell School Radio with your host Benedicta Adekwiton and like I said earlier I'm not alone in the studio I'm here with Miss Deborah and also an inspirational writer, uh, motivational speaker, moderator I can just I can be naming everything okay let's just go straight into what we have to discuss yeah. today okay so as an author like since when have you started writing like and how did you come about writing books yeah i started writing three years ago three years ago wow yes yes i started after attending an angle organized by mommy esther omoni okay Ebola. yes okay so in that angle, i get to meet uh, a coach coach at the Rockbo. so he's the one that introduced me to an online group okay. that's vegetarian marriage so from there i started posting all mm. the inspirations i received from the inama so and people were inspired you know i got a lot of remarks testimony messages from people and mm -hmm. so from there i moved to other groups as a moderator too so that's it that was how you started yes three years ago and yes. you're doing well yeah so fire on you deborah and writing is my pen name okay fire on you deborah, deborah and so for any of our listeners who want to check it out now they yeah. can just go to fire on you deborah and write and see all my posts uh, maybe, maybe i'll start putting handwriting in my own post oh. so like, you know it is my handwriting <laughs> okay now let's go straight to what inspired the choice of Okay, you've said it already. Yeah. Like, what inspired it was those people you met. Yeah. And you decided, okay, I want to go through this part, and yeah. I want to write like them. I want to, I want to, they are like mentors to you. Yeah. Wow, very nice. Now, looking at, into the book industry in Nigeria. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, what are the challenges you faced so far? Because it's not just easy for you to just decide mm. to say, I want to be a book writer. Yeah. Especially when it comes to um, uh, motivational books and. Um, 
uh, like that you know sometimes um it's not so easy even when it's a storybook you don't get to have it everywhere but when it comes yes. to when that comes to motivational books so we expect that there will be some challenges you might be facing so can you can you actually share some light on that yeah looking at the book industry in nigeria one of the challenges i have is that um, readers i mean nigerian readers they don't embrace um uh, Nigerian books, like for example, now if you share 10 readers, 10 readers, their library, if you check their libraries, it will be very difficult for you to see two hearts of those libraries filled with, with Nigerian, Nigerian books. books. It's always this wise man book. The Bible has said it's so, um, the uh, well, the prophet is not uh, actually exalted, yes. or as the Bible put it, in his yes. own um, town. So, yes. So that's okay. one of the challenges oh, I wow. have. Wow! Yeah. Yes. Any other challenge? And that's the major one. That's what about publishing your book? Do you have problem having a publisher? Do I? Like, am, if I decide to say I want to start, I want to stop writing today. I yes, put my many book. don't know the way. Mm-hmm. Many don't know the steps. You know, the know how to publish a book. Mm-hmm. But if you want to really publish, you have to go in. You have to know. You have to has. Ask about people it. around. Yes, about it. Okay. So, uh, aside from asking around, is yes. it has safe there are some publishers that are doing well while some are not doing well, like maybe someone wouldn't won't be best for someone like mm. like I'm trying to ask that it's for it's, it's be pretty small like when you are starting okay. you know, maybe you are no you don't know much people, maybe you don't have free place or so you understand yes. now, but when being you are on the line, you really know how it's uh, how it's you already goes. Have people yes, you already have are, yes, yes. So you know how to publish your book and it will be live. Mm, that yes. is very nice. Now, so far, how many books have you written? Yes, to the glory of God, I have written two books. Wow, yeah. even starting from last year, I was thinking you were going to say I've, I'm just writing my first book, something like that. Because yeah. it's just three years ago. You know, when we look at three years ago, this year is not yet completed, so it means yes. you've completed two years being an author. Yes, that's true. And you already have two books. Yes. So it means when you have, um, and I believe it, we keep multiplying. Yes, amen. So in case it's now five years, you have ten books. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, so listeners around the world, I hope you're getting inspired with our guest here sharing our experience uh, as a writer and as an author. So let us go on this um, short break and we will be right back. Don't go anywhere in case you are thinking of writing that book, in case you are thinking of publishing that book. You see, you have to inspire inspire yourself and it's it's never too late you know we don't have writers that they are born from the womb she mm-hmm. started three years yeah. ago it means that she learned it like so in case you you are aspiring to be one of course you can be that person so do well to start encouraging yourself now as i am talking now but right now let us go on this musical break first of all and we will be right back you don't go anywhere just stay tuned and stay connected to don bosco radio you're welcome back from that musical break telling you to do the right thing in case that right thing is starting to write your own book so you can motivate others you can inspire readers you know so it's better you do it so let's go back to where we dropped this before we went on that break so mm, right now you said you've written two books yeah uh, do you have any latest one? Is it? Do you have a first one? That yes. Is, what's the title? No, it's the wine of beauty. Oh my God, the wine of beauty. What, yes. what your first book? What type? What was the title? Surpassing virtues. Surpassing virtues. Yes. So the wine of beauty. How is it coming along? What inspired it? Um, the wine of beauty. You know, the wine of beauty is called humility. Okay, humility. Yes, yes, hmm. yes, yes, yes. Okay. What really inspired me to write this book is that I, I, I see the I see that in, in, in our generation we need uh, humility and humbleness is our love. Mm-hmm. We need to build love. Mm-hmm. Yes, we need to build love. We need to to live like Christ. Mm-hmm. You know, Christian is Christ like. So we live to follow that path because Jesus Christ is, is so humble. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. it's so humble, and um, for us to be uh, in leadership, we must be humble too. Yes, we need a servant as like David. Mm-hmm. David was humbled, you know, from um, from um, rearing the sheep. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. 
So God see his servants as in him. That was why he chose him and anointed him and to be a king. A king. Mm -hmm. Yes, and even when he became a king, he, he was down singing and praising the Lord. Yeah. You know, that his wife saw him. And and he told him that why are you king? Mm -hmm. But with all the majesty, with all the glory, mm -hmm. why will you stoop so low like this and be dancing and singing? But uh, maybe his wife did not know that he's uh, praising the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the one who is mighty than the mightiest. So now we and that's uh, led uh, his wife to be buried all of her life. You we need to be intoxicated with the wine of beauty. We need to be intoxicated with humility. We need humility in every in every stages of our lives for us to to attain greater heights, for us to be great in life, for us to achieve uh, everything that we want to achieve. So we need it, and so I see that in this my generation we need humility. So the book is all about humility. That's the wine of beauty that we must be intoxicated for us to 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 go high. We must be we must be lowly. We must be meek. So you won't deny David was the man after God's heart. And you also come to agreement that nothing pleases the Lord like a humble heart. After the Genesis the book, the wine of beauty. The Lord need more, no, more of our humble hearts today. You too can be God's favorite if you are ready mm -hmm. to have a humble heart. You know, it mm -hmm. was pride that changed agency to devil and it is humility that makes men as angels. The wine of beauty is a book for hall and surgery, which will guide you about living a lowly and humble life in Christ. Close yourself, uh, close yourself, all of you, with humility towards one another. For God opposes the problem. Give grace to the humble. Thank you very much. In fact, I'm getting motivated with that. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm even thinking I, I actually came for, you know, I came for. A counseling. Oh. I'm feeling that way already. Oh, yes. That is very nice. You know, looking at um the title, judging with the title, please mm. pardon me. I would have said the book was written for ladies, like something like the wine no, of it's beauty. Yeah, you know, we Sunday. ladies like it when you you will give us all this kind of you. You, know, the, you are the wine of beauty. <laughs> well, 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 in fact, in, in, what I'm trying to say is your book has suspense. Oh, because yeah, I wouldn't be able to decipher the fact that um, it was just for us to be humble, yeah, lonely, yeah. lonely and um, milk in heart. Yes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you see what I am saying. You see what I am saying. Sincerely, I, I really like that. Well done, sis. Thank More you. inspirations Amen. for you. Let me also start the praying thing. Maybe I can't call it. Let me to come and start the mood right now. But sincerely, I feel so I feel so blessed. In fact, from the little here. And to all our listeners around the world, yeah, be humble, be milk, be be and uh, so that you'll be the one of this. Is that is that is that how to put it? Yeah, so yeah, you 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 go far in life. Okay, so that you go far in life, please yes. pardon me. Okay, I'm trying to link it with being the wine of beauty. I know. Thank you so much for that. And so our listeners, I hope you're able to get one or two things from that. When is the book? When is the book launching? This the book, wine of beauty. Yes, the official book launching and seminar. So it's coming up on August. 29 2021 this, okay, year, this, this month, month it's yeah. in like two weeks time yes wow wow, that's wow. so it means irrespective of where you are you can be part of the launching of yes. the book the wine of, of beauty. beauty because you listening you are the wine of beauty <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me. okay now so having said that let's go straight to what advice do you have for um, authors, young authors who also want to start? There are some people that they've written on several pieces of paper. They've actually, they'll take this book, write a little, drop it, take that one. They want to write. They've not seen the motivation to have a complete book. Maybe they don't even know how to go about it or they, they are not even sure of what side of writing should I go to. Mm. You know, some people want to write about, okay, maybe like this line you've chosen. Some people want to write about maybe just morals and all. Mm. You know, there are different set to this we're saying. So what advice do you have for them? 
my advice to young um authors, authors or amateurs because yes. they may not be young like three years ago when you start it's not as if you were young ah uh, yeah, 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 yeah 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 let's just say okay no i mean young amateurs. in the profession yeah you get it yeah okay so my advice is that first you have to discover yourself mm-hmm. you have to discover your purpose mm-hmm. when you discover your purpose then it should be consistent and persistence you should follow up you should not relent not be tired yes yeah, not be tired so and you you have to you have to expose yourself you get to the book industry you get to meet people you get to meet authors you get to know people that know more in the profession then you get to be humble you get to 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 to, to be teachable to be, you you understand now mm-hmm. you get to be teachable I know. yes mm-hmm. and maybe you attend um, and seminars seminars yes okay. you attend master class so you get to equip to yourself, learn, you yes, yourself. to learn. So um, and you get, you have to have confidence. You have, you have to have confidence in yourself that, that I you can, can make it. it. Yeah. I can do it. Then we, we don't have the spirit of fears. Why did yeah. not give us the spirit of fears? Not so, at all. so you must rule out fears. Fears must not be in your dictionary. You can. You do hear it. her fear. All, all kind of all, all kind of fear. All yeah. manner of fear, fears, whatever. You should not be in your dictionary. Yeah, you they have the role of will. You. you can do whatsoever you want to do. If you want to do it, you will achieve it. You will achieve it. Thank yes. you very much for that. And so, know okay. that you are imparting the world. Yeah. In your writing. Yeah. So you must know what you are really doing. Mm. Because you are really imparting the world. You are a voice. Mm. To be a writer, you are a voice to the world. You are not advocate. Because when people read your book, they learn especially yeah. readers it's goes for readers are they, they they want to turn to leaders because they read your book they want to become a better person that's why we read isn't it yeah. to learn something yeah. i don't know before yeah. sincerely that's true you are a reader you are a leader yeah. you are an influential yeah, and you must you are practice an person. what you preach and you must practice, practice what, what you write. right okay so in case you are not going to practice what you write please don't start yeah exactly yeah. okay what advice do you have for our listeners all around the world my advice for ladies in the house, okay. daughter of it's Zion, right, daughter of yeah. Zion, yeah, yeah, I'm a daughter of Zion too, yeah, I'm part yeah, of them. Be vicious, be vicious, be vicious, yes, like the October okay. thirty one woman. Okay. Be fresh, uh, be, 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 May, be you should have, you should have, you should have be fast about it. Proverb thirty one, woman woman okay yeah. proverb 31 woman oh yeah. okay so in case you're listening here with your bible you can go and open that are you done okay now <laughs> so be <laughs> precious okay. then you, uh, you 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 have dignity every woman have dignity you of must course. be reserved you must be reserved then embrace modesty mm. do everything moderately mm-hmm. then love your neighbor as yourself like christ told us after yeah. love is love and after love is still, it's still love, love my sister so love thank you everyone so equally yes. yes thank you so much for coming and i wish you a very successful launching thank and don't so worry much. i'll be part of that launching by the grace of god <laughs> so in case you're listening from wherever you are you can be part of the launching august 29 on whatsapp it's a link actually i'm going to post it on my whatsapp status on facebook in case you're following me that's um local dicta addicted to local milieu anyone you're following and in case you want to follow her um 500 deborah is a handwriting you can follow her and what is how else can they reach out to you yeah you can reach just me on facebook that's fine you you Deborah. Deborah. Okay. yes thank you so much for coming so this okay. is where we drop it on the show ladies hangout day i hope you were able to get one or two things in case you are going to be a writer or you are a reader i hope you were able to uh, hold on to something and i also hope you'll be part of our launching how are launching it's now our launching yeah yes. okay we drop it here on the show today i still remain my humble self benedicta adepito and yeah with me please Bye, Deborah. thank you so much for hanging on bye